Hi guys, so our good friend, the Tory Brexiteer from Dover, who was heckled a few days ago when she attempted to use a protest as a photo opportunity, remember her, she joined in in the chanting of shame on you to realise that the workers were not directing those words at P&O, but at Natalie herself for voting against a motion by the Labour Party that would have done away with fire and rehire. Natalie, not content with making a fool of herself at the port, decided to engage in embarrassing behaviour in the House of Commons. Now, she condemned the company, of course, but also, quote-unquote, militant trade unionists. You know, the ones who shouted, shame on you, at her. Have a listen. Let me say again, what DP World and P&O Ferries have done is a complete disgrace. Yeah. They should reverse their decision and reinstate the workers. Their behaviour breaks the social contract between employers and employees. They have been rightly condemned across the board in both business and political worlds. The right thing to do, as I say again, would be for DP World to immediately reverse its decision and reinstate the workers. Now, she's not asking for the government to force the company to do this. She's asking the company to do this. There's a big difference here. There's a big difference between asking her government to do something about this by forcing the company in some way. I don't think it's possible, but what she's doing here is she's attempting to, to look like she's the good guy. You know, uh, I'm asking the company to reinstate these workers. I'm on the side of workers, remember. Finally, I'd like to take a moment to address the dangers of militant unionism. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have worked closely with the yeah, RMT right. union Disgusting. on the previous restructure of P&O. I have always found the union to be firm and constructive in the workers' interests, as am I. In light of that close working in the interests of my constituents, I was invited by RMT leaders to join a march in support of Dover's P&O workers on Friday, which I did, along with the Conservative leader of Dover District Council and Conservative councillors, because we are united in getting those jobs back and doing right by the P&O yeah, yeah, workers yeah, affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, I found myself surrounded, bullied and abused by hard left militants. Oh, it was <laughs> so there were hard left militants saying, shame on you for voting against a motion that would have gotten rid of fire and rehire. And she even joined in in, her, in that chanting herself, which was quite embarrassing. But it is, they were right to say shame on you. Shame on you for voting against a motion to protect workers. That was a labor motion to end fire and rehire. You voted against that. Shame on you for doing that. And shame on any other Tory MP that voted against that. It was clear that they were unelected bully boys seeking to drown out the voice of democratically elected representatives. Who voted against their interests. You voted against their interests. How, what did you expect them to do? Welcome you with open arms? Give you a hug? Throw flowers? What were you expecting them to do? You voted against their interests. You continually voted against their interests. You went down there. You say you were invited. I don't know. Um, you know, in Parliament, you can say whatever, whatever the hell you want, but you went down there, you were posing in front of the cameras, the, the cameras were there and you were talking to the journalists. And then when it came to shame on you, you got the hell out of there because you probably realized, oh, actually, uh, the thing that I voted against is actually coming to bite me in the behind. Me as the representative for Dover, it is the hallmark of the bad old days of the 1970s and 80s, and we must guard against that returning. I will not be intimidated from serving my community by odious, hard-left militants who thrive on division, nor will I be deflected from serving my community and my duty to represent the ferry workers. That's why we must all call out the behaviour of hard-left militants and not call out politicians who vote against the interests of workers? 
So you should call out people who said shame on you for voting against their interests. Wow, wonderful. So anyone who disagrees with her is a hard left militant. I think if you were to ask the, all of the workers, would you be, are you happy that your MP voted against your interest? I think most of them would be on the side of the hard left militants, quote unquote. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.